Hello, everyone. It's Friday's lesson, and as we come to the end of the week, we would like to share with you some of our final thoughts about this week's lesson. Now, I don't know about you, but what a heavy week this has been. This week, we took a look at some of the toughest Bible passages in Scripture regarding well, the state of the dead. On Monday, we took a look at the story of the thief on the cross who believed that Jesus was who he said he was, the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Now, the interesting thing is, this thief had the same evidence that everybody else had regarding who Jesus was. The thief chose to believe when many of the people there on that day simply chose well, not to. On that day, a criminal was promised the gift of eternal life, which is probably the greatest proof there is that there is no such thing as an immortal soul. If we had an immortal soul, then why did God raise Moses from the dead in order to take him to heaven? I mean, after all, if Moses' immortal soul was in heaven, then why go get his body? Then we have the record of people who were raised from the dead and you would think that the burning question on everybody's mind would be, well, what was it like to be dead? And the Bible doesn't address the issue, and nobody asks the question. No insight provided, no testimony is given by those who died. I remember when I was 19, I went on a mission trip to Honduras. I saw some amazing things there while I was there, and overall, I had an amazing time. When I got home, guess what I talked about nonstop? My trip to Honduras. Let me tell you, if I had died and gone to heaven, and then I was sent back to planet Earth, guess what I'd be talking about nonstop? And yet, here we have Lazarus, whom Jesus raised from the dead, and there's no mention of dying and going to heaven. No word of it comes up in Scripture. I mean, if you were God, and you wanted to advertise the rewards of the afterlife, wouldn't you send a couple of people back to tell other people what heaven is like? And yet God does, does no such thing. Oh, we know what heaven is like, but not from people who've died, but from prophets who were very much alive at the time they saw heaven. And believe me, once they saw it, they talked about it. Here's what we know. Jesus said that eternal life is a gift that will be given as a reward at the second coming to those who were saved. The fact that eternal life is a gift should be evidence enough that we do not possess an immortal soul. The Bible clearly teaches that the dead are truly dead. They know nothing. They remember nothing. They do not praise. They do not worship. And they do not interact with the living. They simply sleep. They sleep and they wait until the day the shout rings out, the trumpets blast, the earth shakes, the graves burst open, and on that day, the dead will sleep no more, and neither will we. Well, that was our lesson for this week. Now, it's your turn. Please come out on Sabbath and share your thoughts and questions with your local Sabbath school class. And please, don't forget to join us next week as Thando shares with us her thoughts regarding next week's lesson, which is entitled, The Fires of Hell. Now I know you won't want to miss it. <laughs> <laughs>